Hey guys, so it's been a hot minute since I filmed the video and um, this one's going to be kind of different. I got a couple new wigs in today so I thought we would do like a first impression um, unboxing of my new wigs. So this sexy hairstyle is because I'm going to be putting on a wig so it's still kind of damp from the shower. I wouldn't recommend putting on a wig if your hair is still damp but we're just trying it on real quick so no big deal. So I got two new wigs. I have a few others and if you guys are interested in seeing them, let me know in the comments below and I can do another quick little video. But I wanted another fun one and I wanted kind of just like a brown one. Just a just boring brown because I have blonde hair with, well I have dark blonde, like dirty blonde hair. And I get a craving to have dark hair every once in a while so it's nice to have an option. These are both from Wig is Fashion, and I will link all the information below, model numbers, price, and all that stuff if you guys are interested, but I'm excited, so let's check it out. It comes in a package like this. I have purchased from this company before. I have one other wig, and I was really, really impressed with it. It's my favorite wig. That one was about $60. I did get it last year, so I don't think they have it available anymore. But I kind of wanted to order a couple more from this company to see if it was a fluke that that was such an awesome wig or if they consistently have good products. They do ship from China, so that can take a while. The first one that I ordered actually only took me two weeks to get it. It was super fast. This one, I ordered it during the Chinese New Year. So they were closed, and then this one was actually back-ordered, so it held up my whole order, so I didn't get it for almost two months. So, yeah, that sucked. Well, they said they were going to send me a couple free little extension pieces. I don't, I don't really care. We'll see. I haven't seen them in the box yet, but we'll see. So inside the package, I have her wig, and it comes in like a hairnet. And then there is care instructions inside the package, which is nice. I normally just have to like Google that, but I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So this one is just a um, regular cap wig and it does have bangs. I don't have any that have bangs. And when I wear them, I usually just wear a beanie because it's like the quickest, easiest way to make it look natural-ish, as much natural as you can get for a wig. Um, these are synthetic, super soft. This one I think was like 20 bucks. Um, it is shedding, so there's that. I really love the color. And inside it does have a wig cap with these adjustable straps so you can make it tighter. I'm, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to put it on real quick and just see how I like it. It's kind of interesting when I can't see what I'm doing here. So you can just kind of play with it. So this one, because it has the bangs, it kind of covers the hairline. Um, like I said, I usually wear a beanie. I don't ever leave like the hairline exposed because I don't like feeling like I have to fidget with it. Um, but yeah, so here's the first one I got. So you just kind of want to mess with them. What I would normally do is once I get it on, I would um, see how tight I want the straps. And because I have such fine, thin hair, I don't have to worry about wearing a wig cap or anything. It's pretty easy. If you have thicker hair, you're going to want to like braid it down tight and put on a wig cap to help keep it close to your head. Um, I have like no hair. It's just super fine. And then, so I can just kind of like do a couple little braids, pin it back, and I'm good. But I do like doing braids. Just uh, there are little clips inside that you can kind of pin it into. This one, probably because it's a cheaper one, doesn't have any of the little cones inside of it. But yeah, what do you think? Pretty cute. So because this one is a fun like fashion color, I don't ever expect those to look as realistic. I kind of, um, like normal hair color ones, I feel are a little bit easier to pull off as realistic. I personally don't care because if I want to change my hair color for the day, I can. It takes two seconds. So for the price, I really think it was like $20. It might have been $23. I'm really impressed with this wig. It's nice and thick and super soft. Um, it's not overly shiny. Some of these can get really shiny. Okay, so ironically enough, I'm actually really excited for the brown one. Oh, hey, there's my little free extension clip-in things. Um, again, same packaging. This is a lace front wig. These are a bit more expensive. 
I believe this one was like $60. Again, I'll link it down below. Uh oh. I'm stuck. There's a little wig cap that's in there. It's kind of stuck on the thing. Alright. Again, same thing comes with a little lace cap around to keep all the hair in place. Okay, so now this one is a lace front, so if you look inside, you see this lace. Once you get it where you want it, you are going to cut that off. I'm not going to do that today, so just disregard the lace because I'm going to leave that on there. This one does have one, two, three, four of the clips inside. They're kind of like uh, clips, but like little mini combs that you can get and it really keeps it in there secure. Same thing, it has the adjustable band so you can tighten it around your head. I really like, I really, really like the coloring on this one. It has kind of like an ombre caramel-y toned ends, but it's not one flat color. It's got different colors like woven all throughout so it helps it look more realistic. So normally what I like to do is kind of take a blow dryer and just heat this and pull the hair down and kind of get it in more of a normal style. Like I would pull this bang part down. See if you guys can see the ends a little bit. So I do have half of it still back. The Wig is very thick. I honestly probably will be straightening the ends a little bit so they're not so curly. So they're more like if I pull it, you can kind of see how the curl, the curl holds really well. But if you take a blow dryer and just light, like take a round brush and you can go like this and just heat it and it'll pull some of that curl out so it's not quite so like, yikes super curly. I think they just look a little bit more realistic when the ends are a little bit more straighter. So then when I get ready to wear this, I will actually take and trim this lace off around the hairline. You can leave a little bit on if you're going to be gluing it down, but because again, I just, I don't, I think like I've worn a wig without a beanie like one time. And that was only because I was going to be wearing it for just a few minutes. But you can take these little clip, these little combs that are in here and kind of push them underneath your braid to help keep it in place. And the same with the one in the backs, you can kind of tuck that in there and then it gets way more secure when you do that. So this one I think, if with some styling, especially if I pulled this bang and heated it so it stayed down, I think this one I could kind of pull off more. Again, it helps it being more of a natural color, pulling off that it's not a wig. And I will be straightening the ends a little bit more, but I'm really happy with it. For the price, I think this is a really good company. So real quick, I just went and grabbed a beanie. I'm going to show you guys the difference. So you can just slap on a beanie and I'm ready to go to the store. Hope you guys were interested in this. If you guys are interested in purchasing some wigs from this company, fair and honest review. I, I'm really impressed with them. And slept on a beanie, it's the quickest, easiest way, or a hat, or whatever. And two seconds, you're out the door. It's like, who wants to do their hair in the winter if they don't have to? Don't gotta worry about the wind, the rain, nothing. Set. And it's fun, you gotta change your hair color. So, people like me who can never make up their mind what they want their hair color to be, and are just, are just, um, Undecisive souls, and <laughs> we want to keep changing our hair. Wigs are a great way to do it. I say, who cares if it looks like a wig? If you're comfortable in it, who cares? Like, go have fun. You're not damaging your hair. They last for a really long time. You don't have to spend a fortune on them. Like I said, the one I got last year for $60 from the same company has held up amazingly, and I've gotten more than a year's wear out of it. So that's not that expensive. What do you guys think? Brunette or lavender. It's fun, you guys. Just have fun with it. Who cares? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.